Cups Virginia Beach. We're sponsored by the Kaufman Foundation out of Kansas City, Missouri, and run by a, a slew of organizers that volunteer to be here, like Brittany and Dave and Marat and Ray Whiteback in the back. So, um, who's here for the first time? Great. We have a um, we have a sign up sheet back here if you want to put your email down so you can keep up with um, what's coming up on the upcoming weeks and, and uh, come see some more pitches in the future because that's what we're here for pitch practice for entrepreneurs and give people some good ideas help get their businesses going. So a uh, question today is do are there anything going on this week that we should announce? Activities. Uh, seven by seven. The the NATO Invitational Challenge is now open for registration. I love the word unprecedented. So what, how often does small businesses or large businesses get an opportunity to get an international office and can international crowd or audience compete on the international global stage to help there? It is open. Uh, I've got flyers here to go to that. They'll give you all the information. There's a variety of areas that are looking for solutions and ideas. And all you need to do is a 500 word or less abstract to get into the game. So we got that 757 pitch, of course, deadline the 25th. And then I'm going to introduce Cheryl Lynn. I've been talking, many of you I discussed uh, a chat about the VBOC. Here's the director of the VBOC. Good morning, Cheryl Lynn Sagister. Nice to meet you. I love this group. I think it's fantastic. Karen and Steve and everybody involved has always done a super job. I just wish I could get here more often. I'm happy to be here. And uh, if you don't know what to do, we start, launch, grow, and incubate, and market, and handhold veteran-owned businesses, military spouses, and dependents. And all of our services, coaching, counseling, mentoring, education, is all free of charge. So um, congratulations on your uh, entrepreneurial ideas. Keep them coming. This is a super, super uh, opportunity here. So, uh, good morning, and if you like, I'll be here for a while. You can have a chat. Okay, so we have two presenters today, so we're going to be faster than some of the past weeks where we kind of take our time. Not, not for you. We, uh, uh, six minutes for a presentation, 20 minutes for questions. And without further ado, Nicole Hart with Echo Dog. Thank you. Um, not to be rude, but Echo Dog. Thank you. Hi. Yeah, you so, good morning. Thank you for coming. Um, I'm Nicole Hart, and this is Marat Ozkan, and we are EcoDog. Uh, solar powered, biofiltered, rainwater catchment, pet hydration station. Kind of a mouthful. structure. Uh, it takes water from the roof or downspout into the gutter down a natural biofiltration plant biofiltration. 
into a 55 gallon barrel inside this outer surround. Solar powered pump goes back, waters the plants, and then sends it out clean to a dog watering station. Uh, they're green, sustainable, custom, uh, functional work of art. Uh, they're solar powered. It's aesthetic design. Each one's designed with a location in mind. Um, it's designed especially for animals, um, not just dogs, I'm looking into other. Uh, innovative drinking alternative and a smart addition to any home, office, business, project. Um, we found a need when we started to combine the connection, our connection with the community, sustainability, and animals. Um, that was a nice weed for us uh, with EcoDog. Um, we collab we're collaborating with ODU Innovation, uh, 757 Makerspace. We've applied for SWAM certification. Uh, we became a startup as of 2017. Uh, we sold the uh, sold two we did two prototypes in 15 and 16, and we've sold two units since then. And working with uh, Starbucks and the Elizabeth River Trail uh, to have uh, eco dogs there. Uh, we're shipping one out to North Carolina, and, uh, and speaking with them, they found us on the internet. Uh, we have uh, three standard designs that people can choose from, but each um, and other than that, it's custom. And in their standard designs, they can choose um, bowl tiles, uh, plants, and each of the plants are indigenous to the location. Um, they can uh, choose uh, colors, tiles, uh, outer surrounds. We offer maintenance. Uh, maintenance plans, the one we're doing with Starbucks is a little different, custom aluminum uh, frame, plexiglass, uh, lasered image, and some LED lights, so depending on what the client wants. And um, who can benefit? Well, we're looking to apartment, and we saw a need in apartment and condo communities with dog parks, um, just apartment and condo communities. Um, love to work with some nonprofits like Kaboom um, and HSUS. Uh, we'd like to partner with HSUS in the next year and work uh, with Starbucks and HSUS, and a portion of the proceeds go to Humane Society of the United States. Um, it's great for new construction to include in offering to uh, uh, as, as part of the new construction. Um, we have Eco Pup for home use. Um, some of the designs, see as well. Uh, some of the organic design here. Uh, bowl tiles, foot pedals. All the, some of this is changeable, and we're just getting better and better with our innovation and design. Uh, serves as a fountain water feature. Um, here you see we offer some signage if people, uh, the first projects were community projects um, through Ghent, that slide, uh, and uh, the communities uh, purchased the first two prototypes. So we have a donation uh, sign here and that's <laughs> Puffy Angel there. <laughs> Uh, who uh, benefits, um, definitely gives the projection of green-mindedness and forward thinking. Um, it takes water that would otherwise contribute to flooding, um, manages water that would otherwise contribute to flooding. Um, it's a tiny bit of carbon sequestration. Um, what I expect from today? Um, uh, ideas on who to partner with, advice on whether we patent, uh, sales channels, I think we'd be more efficient. Thank you.